When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. Welcome to the introduction video for the indicators chapter. What we'll do in this video is quickly just give you a brief over, overview of the actual videos you can find in this chapter. And what they cover. So they cover the slip stop points, they cover the summary videos, scientific terms, and some of the past HC exam question videos. So I'll go over these six slip stop point videos first. So what you can see here, you got numbers. So these numbers are the numbers of the videos. So number one, two, three, four, five, and six. And these are our slip stop points. So all the number videos are our slip stop points. In this case, the red one meant that it's just a content dot point. And the green one meant that it is a first-hand investigation. This is an experiment. First-hand investigation for your green ones, and the other ones were just content. So I'll quickly show you. I won't go over these ones now because I'll be, I covered them in the videos and the summary video as well. But in the actual, when you, come, when you cover the actual videos, make sure you always focus on understanding what the sub stop point is asking you. So, for example, look at the verb. So. For these six ones, we've got the verbs given here. So classify common substances for the first one. Identify as the verb for the second one. Um, identify and describe for the third one. Perform a first investigation to prepare and test. A natural indicator for the fourth one. And then identify data and, and choose resources to gather information about the color changes range of indicators for the fifth one and solve problems by applying information about the color change. So these were the verbs. So this basically tells you what you need to know for these stop points. And I cover those in the videos as well, which is why I don't cover that right now. But um, we have our six syllabus stop point videos. Plus we have a summary video. This is going to be about 10 to 20 minutes long, where it just covers each of these in a brief manner. We've got our scientific terms. This covers all the important words, so the words that were introduced in the chapter. And this is also really good to know. I mean, these scientific terms are important to know because they could come in your HC exam question because we cover each of the, the important words from these slip stop points, but also the ones that you should know and should be able to include in your short answer questions. We're going to cover four past HC exam questions. And I've made sure that there are actually only four past HC exam questions from 2001 to 2010, so they're all in there. And they cover all of these dot points. There's also one multiple choice question video. And this question video covers quite a few multiple choice questions. And these are usually between also between 10 and 20 minutes long. Now when it comes to how should you use this kind of these kind of videos to learn, it would be good to just go over them in the actual sequence. So starting with the first one ending with the sixth one if you have the time. And then go through, you know, if you, if you want to recap it all, go for the summary video. And then when you're ready, I would attempt the past HC exam question videos. Because not only to practice the content, but also to see what kind of questions you'll be getting. Because it's quite useful to really have a good understanding of what questions you get in your exams. So these past HC exam question videos should help you with that as well. But um, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the videos in this chapter. Thank you for watching.